Welcome to the channel and welcome to this unboxing video. I am so super excited because today we are unboxing the Old World Kingdom of Bretonia edition and the other stuff that they're releasing at the same time as well. Oh, so excited! That's right, folks. GW have sent this lot through free of charge for your unboxing pleasure. And I'm so look how big the box is. It's huge. And I am super, super excited for this. In fact, I can hear in the distance the sound of my current Horus Heresy project crying under the blankets, being afraid that I might get distracted onto something else because lights. And and black and red, black and red, the forces of sun and skill, which will be lost on almost everyone. Uh, okay, right, 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 right. That they're, they're the colours of the bad guys in the live roleplay club I used to go to a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, so black and red have a particular that a, yeah that that, that 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 that's a thing. That's a thing for me. Oh. And look at what you get in the box. I mean, I remember these boxes when they used to be, you know, you, you didn't used to get like a whole army. You got a bunch of basic stuff, but you had to add things to it. But you got a flying hero, flying knights, two lots of horsey knights. And there's footmen with spears, footmen with spears, footmen with bows. You get the book. More templates. Mm. I, I've, so far, I've played two games of Horus Heresy, and oh, templates! I miss you, templates. More templates. Sorry, I'm getting really excited now. I've got to open the box up. Ah, oh, it has taken a supreme test of willpower not to open this up before today because I'm filming this just after Christmas it arrived just before Christmas I've been having to sit on it for ages but there we go, there we go, right what have we got what have we got, we've got these weird red movement sticks because they want to do boxes that have got everything in them but they don't want to put tape measures in, so uh, yeah, w weird wibbly red sticks, I don't even know if they recycle um, I've got a stash of them somewhere. More templates. The new orange colour that they've done the Horus Heresy ones in. Orange. Uh, then, okay. A bag of horses' heads. Have we... Okay. I better wake up with those in bed. Uh, and wings. These are separate. Okay, so what have they... What I'm really intrigued about is a lot of these look like the older kits. Have they, some of which were metal, have they just found a way of converting them into plastics? What's new? What's not new? I mean, I've never seen horses in a bag before. But there's more horses in bags. Okay, horses in bags. Then, now this looks like a new modern sprue. It's got numbers on it. I don't think things were numbered back in the day. We've got a super cloak with loads of thingy design on it. A big, thin, spindly, like the air. Yeah, yeah. Now, these look like old-style footmen. I don't know if these were plastic previously. I thought they were resin. But the style of the sprue, things are really spaced out. That's, that's the hallmark of an older sprue. Oh, there's loads of them. Oh, there's loads of them. There's loads and loads and loads of them. And you know something else about the older style sprues? They're much quicker to put together. None of this, you guys in 15 pieces. There he is. That's him. Glue on an arm. Glue on another arm. And a head. If he's lucky. Right. More. More of these. Then we have got archers with the little picket fence and the sticks. I could have sworn, last time I looked at these, they were resin. But we'll see, we'll see. Okay, of course, <coughs> I was going to say, let's see which ones are Bretonian, but they're all Bretonian because this is the Bretonian box. I have to say, I do like the fact that rather than two mini armies, one of which you probably don't want, and or the, uh, 
I, obviously, there are merits in getting both things in a box, but I really like the fact you basically get a whole army in here. And, yeah. Yeah, because uh, I could talk about Old World for quite a while, because I had a few Old World armies. I didn't have anything like the number of 40k armies I've got. Uh, I think I had, like, five when they killed, uh, killed it off. And, like, four of those... Last year, I converted to AOS armies. Um, so I've got, like, two uh, that are in a usable state. Vampire Counts and Dark Elves. And uh, neither of those are out yet. Well, they're out with... Yeah, but they're not They're not the new shiny. But these Bretonians are... Oh, okay, yeah, okay. I think these are... Are these all the sprues? Yeah, they haven't got numbers on them. Oh, <laughs> Games Workshop 2003! Older sprues. Do these other ones have sprue numbers on them as well? Uh, Games Workshop 2003! Okay, what about this one? Does this have a number on it? It does have a number, but not a year. 2023, so this is shiny and new. This one, 2023, so this is a Pegasus, I assume, because it's got horsey bits and feathery wingy bits. So that's a Pegasus. Now, what are these? These are foot mini things. 2003! So these are older ones as well. So I must have been wrong. These mustn't have been rendered in... Um, there mustn't have been... Who do you watch this? What do you call it? Fine cast. They must have been plastics. And they've, they've literally just brought them back. Which I think is cool. Uh, it's sort of... It's one of the first times you've sort of seen GW. You put the hand up and go, yeah, my bad. Yeah, 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 well, yeah, it's, it's coming back. It's coming back. I mean, obviously not for philanthropic reasons. Well, it's a little bit of column A and a little bit of column B, isn't it? I mean, they're bringing it back because people, people really, really, really want it. But people, people really, really, really want it, which is a reason to bring it back. But the Obviously, because people want it, means they can make money off it, so it's a reason to bring it back. So, they'll, yeah, they'll roundabout kind of ways. Right, footmen. No, are these knights or footmen? These look more knighty, with knighty helms, with, like, uh, heraldic -y symbols on them. Is this another one of the same? That's another, I think. Right, okay, so that's unboxed. Oh, it's so shiny and blue. So shiny and blue. Then we have, goodness me, that's a, that's a, a mighty tome. The old world rule book. Ah, with some cheat sheets stuck on the back. That's good. That's good. Then we have a old world, ah, a how to build guide. Right, okay. I, will, I have to say I was curious, oh, and rules and stuff. Curious to know how they were going to do their um, uh, build instructions because when these sprues were released, the build instructions were basically like one page with like bodies, heads, arms, arms, go for it. And everything else was left up to your initiative slash imagination. Right, what's underneath here? Right, square bases. Goodness me, with slots in for horsies. They look a bit wider than the ones I remember. Uh, we've got a couple of flying bases. Might do something a little different with those. I might put the flying sticks on square. Depends how the rules work, I suppose. Then we have Warhammer Old World Transfers. We have the Bretonia Transfer set, which looks like a load of axes and fleur-de-lis. But that's all right. That's... If that's what they're sporting, that's what they're sporting. Scatter dice, but no artillery dice. Okay, I expected an artil uh, I expected artillery dice as well as uh, scatter dice. And square bases. They look like twenty fives. Twenty fives. They look slightly bigger than the ones I remember. Now I wonder if that's the standard base size. I wonder if. That I could do a conversion thing for my round bases to sit in to be square bases again, so I could actually use armies for Age of Sigma in the. Ooh, ooh. Anyway, uh, and flying sticks. 
These are the older style flying sticks because presumably the older minis need the older style hole, which means we'll be in snapping off territory again. So there might need to be some drilling and pinning going on there, but I don't know. Uh, bases. Bases. Right. So, okay. Let's, uh, let's do some close-up looking at the newer stuff. Right then. So what even is it? Hang on. Let, let me get the, the, thing, the thingy. Okay, so, according to the, the doodah, we've got Knights of the Realm. So there, the Knights of the Realms are the ones with the fancier hats. These look like the Knights of the Realm. They've also got fancier horses with better manes and stuff. So we've got like a horse, we've got a griffin, a dragon, Knights of the Realm. Are these all Knights? That's one Knight of the Realm. Okay, so there must be like a bunch of these in here. So these are Knights of the Realm. Where then are the Knights Not of the Realm? Are these the Knights Not of the Realm? They look like they could be the... Right, so... This... Horse, yeah, this definitely looks like Knights of the Realm and the horses are on the sprue. But there's no torsos. Where are the torsos? Are these the torsos? No, there are no torsos on here either. Right, it's now become a search for torsos. But the... Uh, or are these the Knights of the Realm with even better hats? And are these... Knights Errant. No, the Knights Errant definitely have got significantly less fancy hats. Right. Okay. I, I might need to sort these into different piles to try and work stuff out. I'll be with you momentarily. Okay, I thought I was getting clearer, but I'm not. So, work with me on this. Okay, so... These, there's three of these. Each one has a horse, two horses' heads, and I found a torso. There's a torso there. Uh, and there's, another, there's no shield arm. Oh, no, there is a shield arm. And those shields, I assume, mount on those arms. Yes, according to that, those are Knights of the Realm. There's three of those. Now, here, we've got three of these sprues. Uh, they have the fancy hats, but they also have the little hats. So I'm guessing that this is a multi-sprue kit that can make either, or this is an upgrade for this. Now, there's four dudes. I found the torsos, four torsos, and there's the simple head options. There's like a falcon option, which is cool. There's also, of course, the bago horses. So I assume... I mean, I haven't got them out and counted them, but I reckon there's the right number of bago horses to to do these. So, four, uh, 12. It mentioned there were two units of six. What did it actually say? What did it actually say? Oh, it said, one Lord of Bretonian Royal Pegasus, three Bretonian Pegasus Knights. Ah, so I wonder that 12 Knights of the Realm... Oh, so the okay, so these are Knights of the Realm as well as the other things that makes these three the Pegasus, uh, the Pegasi, with this being the upgrade bag to turn them into Pegasuses. So these are Pegasusy, and these look like can make either Knights of the Realm or Knights Errant. I will try and find out what the difference is at some point. And it's right here in front of me. I don't know how long you've been shouting at the screen, the screen, that this, for crying out loud, Paul, that this is the Pegasus one. Oh, dear me. Uh, doesn't tell you how to put it onto the base. Well, it's just nuts depicted on a square base, which is cool. Doesn't say how to do it. So there's going to be some old school modeling skills involved here a little bit like some of the Horus heresy stuff that involves some old school i feel like i'm home um 
ah, uh, yeah. I mean, I love Age of Sigma. I'm a little bit out of love with 40k at the moment, but I'm totally loving Horus Heresy, and I, 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 I'm feeling pretty good about this. Feeling pretty good about this indeed. Okay, the next thing that was confusing me are uh, the. Um, it says 36 men at arms and 24 peasant bowmen. I assume that's 24 peasant. I assume that's 24 peasant bowmen. And those are two blocks of the Knights of the Realm. Now, there's three sprues. And some of them have got both dudes with shields on them as well as guys with bows. So I'm not entirely sure which is which because this sprue clearly has some shields, clearly has some power weapons, also has a bow, has the chain which I think is related to the, um, the protective stakes on the bow thingy. So I wonder, actually, if it's a generic peasant kit and you get a whole a, a mix because they are on different sprues. Because this sprue here, definitely a bow sprue, but it's four bowmen. And there's one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five of these, which makes it 20 bowmen. But it's just 24 peasant bowmen. So I'm assuming there are three sprues here. The four of the guys on these three sprues? Maybe it's like the, the standard bearer or or whatever. Make up the peasant make that up to four. Which would mean so there must be in total on here, there's four on each sprue. So three sprues, twelve. This is <laughs> you're you're sat, ladies and gentlemen, watching me do primary school arithmetic. What a way to spend a Saturday. I don't know what day you're, you're, you're watching this, but today I'm filming is Saturday. So there's 12 in there. These ones are obviously just footmen, although a lot of them have got sort of food with them and hats. Uh, there's four on each sprue. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do I know my seven times table? Seven fours are 28. So there's 28 in here. There's 20 there. That makes for 48. And there's 12 there, which is... Come on, Paul. Get it together. 60 in total. Right, 36 and 24 is 60. Yes, so I reckon at some future point you'll be able to buy these separately in a box and they you get peasants with a mixture of bow people and sword and shield people. Now, you might be sat there thinking, yes, Paul, we all thought that was incredibly obvious, but that's taken me a while to get to. So, um, yeah, okay. Right, so we've got the peasant bowman. Oh, just look how easy that's going to be to build. I know the models aren't as swishy and fancy as they are today, but they still look cool, and in ranks, they're going to look cool and... They got bows, and he looks really silly. It's very cool. Uh, <laughs> and then the defensive stakes, burning braziers, stakes, little things like a dog you can put on there as well. You see the dog to go on. optional extras. But I like the way they've sort of um, gone right. This is a men at arms peasant musician. That's what you need. Men at arms or peasant bowman musician. That's a yeoman. That's a grail monk. Here's an alternate build for that guy. Um, rather than just the old... It, it's a nice transition, I think, from the one page that just said, here's a load of left arms, here's a load of right arms, here's a load of heads, here's a body, here are some bases. Have at it. Because I always made things wrong. And you find out when you get to the end, you go, well, that's him, right, isn't it? You go, no. I digress. Uh... I'll try and become less of an excitable puppy. Seems like a forlorn hope. All right, Bretonian Lord on Royal Pegasus. So Duke and Baron. Now, one assumes that's this. Although, this just looks like a sprue for a Pegasus. I hope it's not going to look too... It looks really fancy. 
I hope that doesn't make it stand out too much next to the other Pegasi, but we shall see. Really nice long wings, really well-defined feathers. In which case then, I'm going to guess this isn't um, an on-foot model. I'm assuming then this is the rider for that Lord. Yeah, the it looks like the same lance. One cloak. The legs are in the riding position. A nice baldric there with the sword in. That's a nice touch. The sword hilt's nice and slim as well. Doesn't make it look totally out of proportion. Like you're trying to get your hand around a log. Harness. Oh, there you go. It says B. Means there are two sprues. 13. That, and I'd have said, seen that if I was looking on here. It's, these are all numbered. You can either build it as a baron or a duke. Uh, dukes are higher higher than Baron, so that will be a higher level character than the Baron. The Duke will be higher than Baron, one assumes. Yeah, then all sorts of how to put it together. Different options, Duke or Baron. Uh, cool. Is that it? Yeah, of course it is. They've just done the basic... This model's a bowman, that model's a man-at-arms. This model's a man-at-arms. A, man at arms. a, a villain. That's a bowman. They haven't done every model though, have they? Every every frame. Does that represent all of them? I guess I'll find out when I try and build them. All right then, what we got back here. Okay, so we got rules for... Oh, well that's nice. The army of Duke Gastille, the Red Hand. 1,249 points, so... You got a 1250 point army in the box. One assumes the Tomb Kings is the same points. If they have done it like that, my hat goes off to them. Uh, Bourdieu's Knights, Roland de Gasse's Knights, Carl Le Boeuf's Pegasus Knights, Odo Michelin's Billmen, uh, Tordan Denyard's Billmen. Gwilon Lair. Now, I'm not channeling Monty Python of the Holy Grail enough. I don't know how to pronounce things. I do apologise uh, for everything. So that's what's in the main big box. And those are the sprues. Let's... Let, ooh, uh, you, you, I need to tidy this up. I can't get to the other stuff. I've buried it in sprues. Back in a minute. Okay, next we have the modular movement trays. From the picture, they look remarkably similar to the old modular movement trays, some of which I still have in the original packaging in my garage. But we sort of thought, our group sort of thought, nah, this, we're not doing any of this AOS nonsense. We'll keep playing Fantasy Battle. But, you know, gradually over time, as it became less and less supported, it was uh, a lot harder to do, so... So those movement trays never got used. Right there. So these look very familiar. These are the edges. These are the corners. Okay. Instructions. Okay, it's more than you used to get, uh, I think. Yeah, 2023. How to do them, how to cut them out. Yep. Now these always used to have... Yeah, there we go. So... 20 mils on one side, 25s on the other. So you cut it to the shape you want your movement tray to be. Now, I used to have a... This used... I say I used to have a problem. That's not quite the right phrasing to use. Um, it used to be tricky to know what to build because you used to have many more options for how you might want to configure your units. You might want to have all sorts of different movement tray options. That seems to be less the case now. From what I've read, there's a fair, you know, you have to be wider at the front than you are at the back. So if you've got 20 footmen, for example, you are pretty much always going to want to do them on a uh, on a 5 by 4 uh, I guess you could do them on a 10 by 10 Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It feels like there's the choices are easier, but what do I know? Certainly not all of that yet. Right then. So... So, next we have... Let's jump in and find out, shall we? Oh, I'll tell you 
taste something. It's so hard keeping hold of some of these boxes until I get time to make the video because I just want to look at them straight away. It takes a supreme effort of will. Right, what do we have? Uh, okay, so, all right, things become clear. That's the same Pegasus sprue that we've just looked at. But the hero sprue is different. The character sprue. Are they characters or heroes in Old World? I think they're heroes. The hero sprue is different. Different arms, different legs. Obviously a battle standard that's actually a bit bent. Let's bend that back into place. Um, zoom in a bit. Okay. I don't know what the build options are. Oh, I like that. The, the detailed definition of that chain there and that key that's hanging on. Is that part of the barding? Looks like it could be part of the barding, either side of the Pegasus. What? Mm, okay. Uh, legs and robes. God, my mind's going all sorts of um, options about how best to paint something. Because obviously, me being me, I want them to be quick. So I'm looking at things thinking, do I undercoat them all black and work up from the black? Do I do it all red and work down from the red? Or do I do it all silver to get all the armour parts done and then layer the colours on top. I don't know. Then another Old World Britannia transfer sheet uh, with Fleur de Lis and Axis. They want you to use, there's a specific region of Breton, I've just been having a quick flick through the, the book. There's a specific region that is this heraldry. So, uh, I want to just tell you the colours that they've used. That's interesting. Uh, so yeah, anyway. Okay, another uh, paper guide. So we have the same how to build the Aussie. Uh, build the standard bearer, build the horse. Don't look like, there don't seem to be many build options. Yeah, there, oh, it does say paint the banner before you stick it on. That appears to be the advice. But yeah, they're not sort of going to, they're not trying to make this uh, baby steps. They're assuming you have uh, a level of hobby experience before looking at anything like this. Uh, and a square, but a square base. Who would have expected it to be a square base? I don't 